Hello friends and welcome back to Ye Old YouTube channel. I'm making a video I've been meaning to make for a pretty long time, but since we were doing the Scrapbook Sunday videos, uh, I thought this plus Scrapbook Sunday was a little much. Now that those are over, we can do this. This is my art book that I have some of my convention art in that I have not framed yet. Uh, I can show you guys real quick. Sorry, we've got the lights on, but like we have this gallery wall. We have all kinds of stuff up on the wall, but there's not room for everything. So that is where this book comes in handy. Um, shout out to Ren McKenzie for suggesting that I get one of these because I was on hold from buying art for a while. And now that I have this, I can go crazy again. So I'm just gonna quickly go through some of the artwork we have inside with you guys. The first one is this gorgeous Princess Leia and the Death Star. These are buns. I love it so much. This definitely needs to get framed. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. That's pretty much the gist of all of this. They need frames and I don't have the money or the wall space at this current juncture in my life. Moving on. This is from Michael Watson and some of the artists I know, some I don't. I'm sorry. I would really love to name everybody but I don't have a lot of time to go through everything. And this was a free print. I got this at Kosai After Dark during the superhero themed one and this is actually the first time I met Mike and we have seen him at like every convention since. He is the best and I have some more of his work in here. Store, we've got this super awesome Kylo Ren. You guys know I am crazy with the Star Wars art. And more Star Wars. This came from the Classic Plastics Convention in Parkersburg, West Virginia. And then over here is one that Brittany actually bought for me. She got a few from this artist and he had a deal. So this wound up being like five, I think he had, it was like three for five dollars or something like that. So she had me pick one and I picked this Beetlejuice cartoon one because I have this on DVD and I loved this show so much, even today. Remember when I was talking about Mike a minute ago? This is his. This is awesome Bell and Beast Star Wars mashup. And then next door, we have this Captain America, Peggy Carter, Saturday Evening Post, sort of kissing the war goodbye kind of print. And this definitely, definitely needs a frame. It's one of my favorites. I love this. I love this so much. I love Peggy Carter. Bring back Agent Carter! <laughs> this, this is a free Doctor Strange poster we got at the movie theater when we saw it. Meh. But next door is this fan-freaking-tastic Lady Thor. I am obsessed with Lady Thor. One of these days I'm going to cosplay her. One of these days. And I think this is just so beautiful. Kind of looks like a tarot card. And then I think I have, yep, from the same artist that did that, um, I have two Batgirl prints. And I really love the color on these. And this one in particular I just think is gorgeous. Next I have this Princess Leia. This is actually an artist contest that I won. If you uh, follow Let Me Be Frank on Instagram, I got a Leia and he drew me a Holtzman and I got all kinds of cool stuff from him. He does a lot of drag race artwork and right now for Inktober he's doing a whole Hocus Pocus series and it is amazing. So uh, check him out if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in. And then over here, oh bless this one. We could be heroes just for one day. It's Bowie. It's superheroes. It's got, I mean, it's got all of the things on it. So cool. Now we get a little political over here with my Star Wars girl. She was warned. She was given an explanation. Nevertheless, she persisted. And I just think this is so beautiful. I, you guys know I only collect lady pop vinyls. And I have a whole collection of the female Star Wars characters, so any kind of like female-centric Star Wars thing, I'm gonna buy it. And also, like Leia is in this outfit. You never see her in this in artwork. Over here we have this Darkwing Duck. This is something that Chad picked out. And then I had to take these out so I could show you all. They are Winnie the Pooh Star Wars mashup. So we have a little Piglet Yoda, Rue, Boba Fett. Oh my gosh, if I could pick it up, there we go. Kangalea, Tigger Han, Pooh Skywalker, 
and Eeyore Vader. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Then we have this Baymax kind of uh, two-sided playing card style. And then by the same artist, and this is the same guy that did the Darkwing Duck I just showed you, uh, Josh Lyman, I think is his name, um, is this dual-sided Spider-Man and Venom. Anybody else really excited for Tom Hardy to be Venom? I am very geeked for that. And then more super beautiful Star Wars artwork. We've got Kylo Ren over here and then uh, Finn over here. I love the image of the Stormtrooper with the blood splatter across. I think it's so striking. I don't know. I just, something about it I just really like. I don't know if that's weird or not, but that's just how I feel. And then, oh, this is an artwork, but this is my Elvira autograph. I just haven't framed it yet, so I wanted to make sure it was safe. But over here is a David Bowie print that I picked up at Wizard World Columbus this year. This artist, um, I picked up two things, and this is the first one, but like this is my tattoo exactly and I I love David Bowie I miss him every day I think that was probably the celebrity death that has hit me the hardest so far um Carrie Fisher was pretty rough too but I mean losing Bowie was oh my gosh it's brutal so I will buy anything David Bowie basically I love just having like little reminders of him around and I mean now I have one like tattooed on my shoulder I can see it every day and then this is the same artist that did the Bowie. This Edward Scissorhands is, oh my gosh, so beautiful. I cannot wait to frame this. And then over here, this is a Simpsons He-Man mashup. And this is all Chad. I like the Simpsons. I like He-Man, but I am a little young for He-Man. So this is more of Chad's deal. It's cool though. I like it. Chad also got this DuckTales print and this goofy movie print. How awesome is that? You can't even tell me goofy movie did not have like the greatest Disney soundtrack, right? Okay, more Chad stuff than Chad's, Chad's 80s cartoons. Basically right here we've got the heroes and then we've got the villains and then Ren. The awesome, awesome, awesome dude that recommended that I get this book made this Riri Williams Iron Man that I am just so in love with. I think it is so beautiful. So um, when I bought this book, I knew the first print I had to buy to fill it with was this one. And I don't know why she wound up being the last page, but this one... <laughs> I just touched your boob that was uncomfortable this was supposed to be like the piece of art that like christened the book and then we have two smaller ones and I think that's the end these are two more oh, if I can get them out that I got at Wizard World Columbus I have this Brienne of Tarth card and maybe the artist is on the back whoa Woodside illustrations okay well there's their information if you would like this Brienne of Tarth, she is my favorite character in Game of Thrones. And then Luna Lovegood, one of my favorite characters from Harry Potter. So that is going to do it for my art book. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece I showed you was. And if you guys collect art too, what kind do you collect? I said that's so weird. I don't know why. Anyway, I am off. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Remember, I do make videos every single day, so hit subscribe if you'd like to hang out on the daily, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!